Aloe can be used as a natural insecticide. Aloe has long been known for its healing properties. It is primarily used to treat skin problems, aid digestion and heal wounds. But researchers have found one more useful property of the plant. Leftovers after squeezing the desired juice are treated as waste, and as reported by scientists, can be used as a natural insecticide. Aloe, aloe vera, has been used for thousands of years to treat skin ailments and wounds, and to support the digestive system. But while the extract of the plant is highly valued, the shards left after its extraction are discarded as waste. However, scientists report that they can repel insects by acting as a natural insecticide. Researchers have already identified several bioactive compounds in post-production residues that repel pests. Millions of tons of aloe peels are thrown away every year around the world. We wanted to show that they could be useful, says lead author Dr. Debasish Bandiapadhyay. The scientist became interested in the potential use of aloe vera as an insecticide after visiting an aloe manufacturing center. He noticed that the insects avoided the leaves of the aloe plants growing there, but were not disturbed by other plants. He returned with samples of the useless, leftovers, to his laboratory. And his goal was to develop a natural pesticide that could help farmers in areas where insects pose a serious threat, such as parts of Africa, the Americas and India. Some home gardeners have already started using aloe vera gel as an ingredient in a natural pesticide mix along with onions and garlic, but they don't always use the peels. And scientists from the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley took this post-production waste under the microscope. First, they dried the loot, and then produced various extracts on its basis, e.g. by adding to them hexane, dichloromethane, DCM, methanol and water. The team previously reported that the hexane extract contained octocosin, a compound known for its anti-mosquito properties. In the new experiments, the DCM extract showed much higher insecticidal activity against agricultural pests than the hexane extract, so the researchers wanted to analyze it further. Using advanced techniques, they detected more than 20 compounds in aloe vera waste, many of which had antibacterial, antifungal or other potential health benefits. Among them were six substances, including octocosinol, subeniotin B, dinoturb, arjunganin, nonadecanone and quileic acid, which are known to have insecticidal properties. Moreover, the identified compounds were not toxic. Chemical studies of methanol and water-based extracts are still ongoing. Now the researchers want to test how well aloe vera peels work in practice in agricultural fields and whether they can be used against agricultural pests. In addition, Bandia Padier is investigating whether the resulting compounds have properties against mosquitoes and ticks, which could potentially lead to the development of an insect repellent for consumer use. 
by creating an insecticide that does not contain dangerous and poisonous synthetic chemicals, we can help agriculture. But if aloe vera peels show good anti-mosquito or tick effects, we can also help the general public, argues Bandia Padier. The researchers will report on the details of their findings at the American Chemical Society, ACS, meeting in the fall. A singularity in the plant world. A palm tree that blooms and bears fruit underground. Scientists have described a new species of palm from Borneo, which blooms and bears fruit underground. Despite the fact that the plant is well known to the local population for its eagerly eaten fruit, this species has gone unnoticed by scientists. Until now. Sometimes it's really worth looking under your feet, because you can miss a spectacular scientific discovery. Such was the case with this unusual palm tree. The discovery of this previously unknown species was determined by the desire to take a clearer picture. Thus, a species of palm with an extraordinary ability to flower and bear fruit underground was found. The plant, named Penanga subterranea, is the first known species of the palm family to bear fruit and bloom only underground. Most plants have evolved flowers and fruits above ground to facilitate pollination and seed dispersal. Forcing researchers to wonder how the newly described palm has survived for thousands of years. The description and results of the research were published in the journal Plants, People, Planet. This unusual palm is located in Borneo. On the island alone, there are about 300 different species of palm trees, and over 2,500 species are known to scientists around the world. This particular one can be found in the rainforests on the border of Malaysia and Indonesia, because the land border between these countries runs on the island of Borneo. The plant is well known to the local population, who, moreover, appreciate its sweet and juicy, bright red fruits. But the scientific world remained unaware of its existence for a long time. It seems that the first scientist to notice it was the Malaysian botanist Paul Chai. The researcher came across it when he visited the Lanyak Antimau Reserve in 1997. Several such palms were also observed in 2017 by Indonesian researcher Agusti Randi. The place where he found them looked as if one of the palm trees had been dug up by wild pigs. The rest were partially eaten or trampled by other wild animals. Scientists from various countries, including Malaysia and Indonesia, of course, but also representing the Royal Botanic Gardens. Q. RBG decided to join forces to learn more about this previously unknown species of palm. As Benedict Kuhnhauser from RBG admitted, if not for the information from Paul Chai, the researchers would probably just pass by this plant without paying attention to it. Anyway, he also found it by chance wanting to take a good picture of a young palm tree.
pushing aside the leaves, he noticed the fruit beneath them. There's a good reason to want to take a closer look at it. Both the fruits and flowers of Penanga Subterranea appear mostly hidden underground. Therefore, it initiated a new family of palms called Aracaceae. And the second part of its name refers to its unusual specificity and comes from the Latin word for the underground. In the context of the functioning of Penanga Subterranea, one issue is particularly puzzling. Flowering plants bloom above the ground for a reason. In this way, for example, they make it easier for insects to pollinate them. And then it is also easier for her to spread the seeds. Geocarpic plants bloom above the ground, but their fruits appear below the surface. Peanuts are a good example. There are also a number of plants that can bloom and bear fruit underground. This is the case for a total of 171 species. However, Species whose flowers and fruits appear only underground are rare. So far, this has only been observed with Rhizanthella, orchids. In the context of Penanga subterranea, a number of questions may arise regarding what pollinates its underground flowers and how it is able to find them. Scientists are at a loss here so far, and it is hoped that the interest of more researchers in this matter will create opportunities to solve this mystery.